All right, this procedure is going to be drilling and tapping a 2003 Ford Excursion Super Duty steering box. So I'm not going to go over the removal from the vehicle, but once you get it out, this is what you're left with. What we want to do is we want to take off the top cap. I've already undone the nuts, the front bolts. So at the end, we want to drill into the end with a 7 16 and then tap it with a quarter inch NPT and then again over here in the sector shaft housing, 7 16 drill bit and a one quarter NPT tap. Now to see in the inside where we're getting that pressure from is the end of the ram, you can see down there straight, is as the ram pushes towards the front, it's going to push that fluid out through the end. We'll then have it come out here, go to the hydraulic assist ram, and then it'll be the return port up into the low pressure area up here. So again, you can see right in there, it's probably a better view right there, the low pressure return. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this off to Redhead Steering up in Auburn, Washington, have them rebuild the box because I had about eight inches of loose play in the steering um, at straight ahead. So I have them rebuild it with all new bearings and parts as needed. Uh, they'll ship it back and we'll be able to add the hydro assist. And one thing too is with this you can just put plugs in if you're not going to use it immediately. If you're going to send it in to be rebuilt, but at least this will be done so it won't need to be torn down later on. All right, so here we have the ram installed. We've got the inch and a half trail gear clamp mounted on the uh, bar. We've got our ram end mount mounted on our track bar mount. Got our one hose hooked up. And what I've done is first I've extended the steering rod ram all the way to the right and then used the funnel to fill the left side once the left cylinder area was filled up with fluid, put the hose on and then connected that so as the ram pushes in this way, I can draw fluid in from here and it also backfill up the hose. So I don't know if you can see or not, but as I move the ram in and out, you can see the fluid rising. So as I fill it, I'll draw it in and that'll fill up this side of the cylinder and then that'll get a majority of the air out and just fill up the hoses from the top. And have that around the track bar looped around and then up to the steering box up top.